In today's video, Rebecca will tell you about her bad habit and how she overcame it. You'll learn some useful vocabulary and expressions that are commonly used in everyday conversations. Listen carefully. My name is Rebecca, and I want to share a problem I had with my phone. It began with my first smartphone, which I used for fun, talking to friends, playing games, and watching videos. However, I soon found myself spending more and more time on social media. Every night I would lie in bed with my phone scrolling and scrolling. I would look at pictures, read posts, and watch funny videos. It felt like time just flew by. Before I knew it, it would be really late, and I still wouldn't feel sleepy. The next day, I would wake up feeling so tired and grumpy. My teachers noticed that I wasn't paying attention in class. My grades started to drop, and I felt sad and stressed all the time. One day, my best friend Jenny asked me, Becca, why are you always so tired? I told her about my late night scrolling. Jenny suggested, Why don't you try putting your phone away an hour before bed? Maybe you could read a book or listen to some music instead. At first, I thought it would be impossible to not look at my phone before bed, but I decided to try. That night, I put my phone on my desk away from my bed and picked up a book. Initially, it was hard, and I kept thinking about my phone. Gradually, though, I started to enjoy the book, felt more relaxed, and soon became sleepy. The next morning, I woke up feeling refreshed. I was surprised at how good I felt. I continued this new habit every night. My grades improved, and I felt happier. I realized that I didn't need to scroll through my phone to relax. There were so many other things I could do that made me feel good. Now I still use my phone, but I make sure to put it away before bedtime. I've learned that good sleep is more important than endless scrolling. Before we begin our speaking practice, let's learn some new words and expressions from our story. Scrolling means moving up or down through text or images on a screen. Example, she was scrolling through her social media feed. Grades means marks given to students based on their performance in school. Example, he got good grades in all his subjects. Grumpy means in a bad mood, especially in the morning. Example, she was grumpy before she had her coffee. Attention means the act of focusing on something or someone. Example, the teacher asked for the student's attention. Suggested means to mention an idea or plan for someone to think about. Example, he suggested going to the park. Impossible means not able to happen or be done. Example, it's impossible to fly without wings. Habit means something you do regularly, often without thinking about it. Example, brushing teeth twice a day is a good habit. Endless, without limit or end. Example, they talked for hours. The conversation seemed endless. Bedtime means the time when you usually go to bed. Example, her bedtime is at 9 p.m. All right, time to speaking practice. Repeat after Becca. My name is Rebecca. 
My name is Rebecca, and I want to share a problem. And I want to share a problem I had with my phone. I had with my phone. It began with my first smartphone. It began with my first smartphone, which I used for fun. Which I used for fun. Talking to friends. Talking to friends. Playing games and watching videos. Playing games and watching videos. However, I soon found myself. However, I soon found myself spending more and more time on social media. Spending more and more time on social media. Every night, I would lie in bed with my phone. Every night I would lie in bed with my phone, scrolling and scrolling, scrolling and scrolling. I would look at pictures. I would look at pictures. Read posts and watch funny videos. Read posts and watch funny videos. It felt like time just flew by. It felt like time just flew by. Before I knew it. Before I knew it, it would be really late. It would be really late, and I still wouldn't feel sleepy. And I still wouldn't feel sleepy. The next day, I would wake up. The next day, I would wake up feeling so tired and grumpy. Feeling so tired and grumpy. My teachers noticed. My teachers noticed that I wasn't paying attention in class. That I wasn't paying attention in class. My grades started to drop. My grades started to drop, and I felt sad. And I felt sad and stressed all the time. And stressed all the time. One day, my best friend Jenny asked me. One day, my best friend Jenny asked me. Becca, why are you always so tired? Becca, why are you always so tired? I told her about my late night scrolling. 
I told her about my late night scrolling. Jenny suggested. Jenny suggested. Why don't you try putting your phone away and Why don't you try putting your phone away and An hour before bed An hour before bed Maybe you could read a book Maybe you could read a book or listen to some music instead. Or listen to some music instead. At first I thought it would be impossible. At first I thought it would be impossible to not look at my phone to not look at my phone before bed before bed but i decided to try but i decided to try that night i put my phone on my desk That night, I put my phone on my desk. Go away from my bed. Go away from my bed. And picked up a book. And picked up a book. Initially, it was hard. Initially, it was hard, and I kept thinking about my phone, and I kept thinking about my phone. Gradually, though, I started to enjoy the book. Gradually, though, I started to enjoy the book. Felt more relaxed. Felt more relaxed. And soon became sleepy. And soon became sleepy. The next morning I woke up. The next morning I woke up. Feeling refreshed. Feeling refreshed. I was surprised at how good I felt. I was surprised at how good I felt. I continued this new habit every night. I continued this new habit every night. My grades improved. My grades improved. Then I felt happier. Then I felt happier. I realized. I realized that I didn't need to scroll through my phone to relax. Is that I didn't need to scroll through my phone to relax. There were so many other things. There were so many other things. I could do that made me feel good. As I could do that made me feel good.
Now I still use my phone. Now I still use my phone. But I make sure to put it away before bedtime. But I make sure to put it away before bedtime. I've learned that good sleep. I've learned that good sleep is more important than endless scrolling. Is more important than endless scrolling. All right. Let's listen to the story one more time. My name is Rebecca, and I want to share a problem I had with my phone. It began with my first smartphone, which I used for fun, talking to friends, playing games, and watching videos. However, I soon found myself spending more and more time on social media. Every night I would lie in bed with my phone scrolling and scrolling. I would look at pictures, read posts, and watch funny videos. It felt like time just flew by. Before I knew it, it would be really late, and I still wouldn't feel sleepy. The next day, I would wake up feeling so tired and grumpy. My teachers noticed that I wasn't paying attention in class. My grades started to drop, and I felt sad and stressed all the time. One day, my best friend Jenny asked me, "Becca, why are you always so tired?" I told her about my late night scrolling. Jenny suggested, "Why don't you try putting your phone away an hour before bed? Maybe you could read a book or listen to some music instead." At first, I thought it would be impossible to not look at my phone before bed, but I decided to try. That night, I put my phone on my desk, away from my bed, and picked up a book. Initially, it was hard, and I kept thinking about my phone. Gradually, though, I started to enjoy the book, felt more relaxed, and soon became sleepy. The next morning, I woke up feeling refreshed. I was surprised at how good I felt. I continued this new habit every night. My grades improved, and I felt happier. I realized that I didn't need to scroll through my phone to relax. There were so many other things I could do that made me feel good. Now I still use my phone, but I make sure to put it away before bedtime. I've learned that good sleep is more important than endless scrolling. Good job today. Keep it up. Every lesson helps you get better at English. We're excited to see you in my next videos. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more lessons. Keep learning and see you soon.